Hello, everyone. The topic of my presentation is called Learning Period for Twitter Ads. I'm Hong Jian, and this is a list of engineers, data scientists, and managers who built and support this new product in the past year. To start, let's have a quick look on the digital advertising overview. On one side, we have ads set up, where advertisers come to the Twitter platform and prepare their campaigns. And on the other side, we have ad serving, where the input is an ad request and a list of ads candidates. After going through multiple stages of targeting and ranking, and eventually we return the top K ads to be served. So in this talk, we will focus on the co-star problems in the ad serving. We observe that new campaigns sometimes struggle to deliver. And we know that the early success in campaign is crucial. It leads to significant lower advertiser churn rate in the long term, as shown on the right. So what are some of the causes for the cold start? The first and foremost, we have selection bias in production prediction model. Because of the feedback loop, the prediction model is built to exploit meaning that the model always prefers uh, popular candidates with a history of success than a new candidate that lacks signal. Another cause would be suboptimal campaign configuration. Some example here is our targeting criteria is too narrow or the bid price is too low. So we build this learning period product to solve the co-star problems. It adds an exploration phase at the beginning of campaign life cycle with two objectives. First, assist the new campaign to deliver. Second, to increase the diversity of training data of our prediction model. And therefore improve the campaign performance in the long term. The core of learning period is the explore-exploit trade-off, which is extensively studied in the literature. But the online advertising brings additional challenges. The traditional exploration techniques usually assume the CTR model determines the final outcome alone. However, this is not the case in ads auction. Uh, as we can see here, the Ranking utility is based on both speed price and the click-through rate from the model. And there are additional deterministic conditions to consider, for example, advertiser diversity and user fatigue. So to tackle the challenges above, we directly apply the exploration on the utility function. As shown here, the delta added to the utility. There are several approaches to design this delta. We can make it a constant value. Uh, alternatively, we can design a decay function based on the number of server impressions. To go a step further, we can use the prediction model uncertainty to guide the exploration. And this also eliminates the heuristic, heuristic design of the decay function. So we use both product metrics and model metrics to measure the different policies. So the first two methods are implemented in our online systems. So here we can show the online experiment, online experiment experiment results, where the impression LP beats the naive LP by a large margin. Uh, for the uncertainty LP policy, we conducted off policy evaluation in our historical data and the results remains promising. Uh, so in summary, we build a new revenue product called the learning period to solve the co-start problems. We compared different exploration strategies in our ad system. And as the next step, we want to continue iterating on the exploration policies and also apply the ex exploration on all campaigns, but not just the new ones. Thank you.